In this section, uh, we will discuss about uh, the OSPF header. Uh, in our previous uh, videos also, uh, we have discussed about the uh, OSPF header that each uh, OSPF packet uh, will contain the OSPF header. Okay, so the uh, size of OSPF header is a 24 byte and it will contain uh, different uh, type of fields like version, type, and the packet length, the router ID, the area ID, checksum, authentication type, authentication and the data. So let's uh, capture some packet and uh, see these details. Now we have the capture and let's try to, let's stop it. And let's uh, open any of the packet of OSPF. So this is the hello packet, for example. And uh, when we open the OSPF packet, let's say this is the OSPF header, right? So these are the information that we discussed, right? Uh, about the content of OSPF header, it will contain the OSPF version, the message type. So we have the hello message, right? Hello message is type one that we already discussed about uh, in our previous section uh, into the OSPF packets, type one, type two, type three, type four, and type five. Then we have the uh, packet length. If you see here, it is 48, right? But in this slide, uh, we discussed that uh, the uh, size of OSPF header is 24 byte, right? So it means that uh, it is having 84 minus 24 is equal to 24. So it is the rest of the data, or uh, if this is the hello packet, okay, that it is containing. So rest of the data is so 24 byte, and in that we have 24 byte of the OSPF header. Then uh, we have the OSPF router ID, right? That's uh, the router ID of R2, that is 0.0.0.0.2. .0 then we have the area ID because uh, we have configured the area as in area zero, then we will be having checksum. But uh, see this checksum value uh, value will depend upon if we are using uh, authentication or not in OSPF, okay? So for example, now uh, we are not using any authentication. That is why you are able to see some value in the checksum. But if you uh, try to use authentication in OSPF, then uh, you will see nothing here in this field. So this checksum value is uh, I mean, it's not mandatory to have something in this checksum value because it depends. So we'll see in the practical also that if we set authentication, uh, then this value will be null, okay? Authentication type, we are not using any authentication. So the default one uh, that it consider is null. Authentication data is null because we are not using anything, okay? So this is uh, all about the OSPF header. Now let's uh, verify this. Uh, check something. So for example, I'm on router one. Now, let's uh, do a show run section router OSPF. So we have the uh, router SPF1, then we have the router ID. If I do a show run interface F1 by zero, because we are using this topology, we have uh, R1 and R2 with having OSPF enabled on F1 by zero on both sides. So let's try to enable uh, the authentication and then we will capture the packet and then we will see if that uh, checksum uh, field is uh, changed or not, okay? So let's go to global configuration mode. I will say router OSPF one, IP OSPF, uh, not IP OSPF, it will say area zero authentication message digest. And then we'll go to the interface, fast ethernet zero IP OSPF message digest key. And then, and then we'll need to say, let's say MD5, and uh, we need to give the password, let's say CCIE. Do show history. 
now we will paste the same thing on r2 right so authentication is enabled now show ip or spf neighbor so I let's clear the neighborship ones. Clear IP OSPF neighbor uh, process. Yes. Show IP OSPF neighbor. So now let's try to capture any of the link. Let's say we'll capture this one. So now let's try to pick any of the packet. Let's stop it. Let's open this packet. So we have the OSPF header. Now see this one. Now this time you can see that the OSPF header is containing uh, the same things. If you see here, the version, the message type, it's a hello packet. So it's a type one OSPF packet, packet length, router ID, area ID, and now you can see here the checksum value. Earlier there was uh, something in that, right? But now because we are using authentication, you will see none in the checksum. Uh, in, in our previous section, uh, we see that uh, in the authentication field, there was nothing. But now, because we are using the authentication, so now you see different type of values. For example, the authentication type is cryptographic, the key value, the data length, sequence number, and all. So this was uh, all about the USP header. The only thing that uh, you need to um, keep in mind that the OSP header will be carried out in each of the OSP packet. Okay and uh, the router ID and the area ID, especially you need to focus on the, for example, the area ID. So the area ID will be carried out into the OSPF header. And this checksum value will be none if we are using authentication. So if you are not using any authentication, then there will be something in the checksum that uh, we use in OSPF uh, just to find out if we have some, you know, crafted packets or so. So this was all about OSPF uh, header. In our next section, we will discuss about uh, the states of OSPF.